Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today, I'm going to be talking about pacing yourself. So in this video, this video is about six and a half minutes long. This only represents a very small portion of my day. This particular day here was a 12 hour long day. And originally I had scheduled out for this video about 12 minutes of me talking. But I figured everybody would get bored of that. So I condensed it down even further to about six minutes. In times past with my hammering technique or my forging technique video, I had stated that there is no benefit or value of getting something done in one heat. And so I want to get a little more clarity to that so this way people don't think that I am against production of any sort. What I mean to say by that is there is such a strain put on smiths just getting started out to perform at this level of greatness that the old smiths seem to remember themselves doing 50 years ago, which is not factual. Just like walking uphill both ways to school is not factual. But yet, it's something we still take and say, well, in my younger year, I could have smith for 18 hours straight. And that's just not so. There are times for really long, hard days, and then there's times to take and pace yourself. If you do not pace yourself in life, you will eventually wear out your body and mind. So... I hope that this will be an encouragement to some guys out there or the beginning smiths out there that believe that you got to get everything done in one day. Now, I do this full time for a living. And so I also understand what it's like to come home from work and want to take and try to just, you know, squeeze out a little bit of time, the very small amount of time you get to take and put into the craft when you get off work or on a weekend. And so maybe you only have a two-hour time window or a four-hour time window to try to get something done. And so this is another level of pressure to, for us to take and smith hard and fast and, you know, maybe miss a few steps. I want to be encouraging to say that, you know, you guys need to take and pace yourselves out there. As the weather heats up, if you're an old man, you need to take and drink plenty of water. If you're a young man, you need to do the same. In the forge here, it was about 120 degrees in my shop. Nice 98 degree Ohio day with about 75% humidity. And as you can see, that forge wasn't getting any colder. When you have 12 hours to work on something, the importance of pacing yourself becomes even more so. It is no good to go home or go in at the end of the day and be absolutely beat. Same thing if you are a hobbyist. You need to take and pace yourself. It's okay. You're not making a living at it. You do not have to get something done within a specified mm -hmm. amount of time. Unless maybe you have something going against you like I don't know, maybe a birthday party or something like that that you're trying to get this present done or Christmas present or something like that for, which I've been there too. But that's usually self-induced stress. I work about 90 or so hours a week, usually. Not always in the shop. A lot of times it is responding to emails, sending out quotes, getting you know, my own materials. I'm a one-guy shop, a one-guy show. So if something needs to be clean, I'm the cleaning lady. If the truck breaks down, guess what? I'm the mechanic. If the plumbing don't work, I'm the plumber. If, I, if the electricity doesn't work in the house or in the shop, guess what? I become the electrician. With so much stuff going on, it takes about a good 90-hour week from me. So I speak from experience when talking about pacing yourself. This isn't a good excuse for if you are a professional to take and lay off and be lay out easy and, you know, 
let the work go by for the day. You should still be getting up early, still be accomplishing your goals and your dreams. And same thing if you're a hobbyist. You should still be trying to actually go out and make something within a reasonable amount of time. But that does not require you having to do everything in one heat, one hammer blow, and, you know, just stressing over it. Take a step back, breathe, relax. Know that blacksmithing was here long before you started smithing, and it will be here long after you are done smithing in your life. And there will be a whole lot of other people taking up the mantle, like as in times past. So what doesn't get done today can get done tomorrow, or maybe next week. Anyways, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you guys tend to stress out? Do you maybe need to pace yourself a little bit, and how so? I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would ask that you think about doing so. I release new content every day. Thank you all once again. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.